श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम इन दिक्स चैप्टर ऑफ गीता भगवान श्री कृष्ण से उद्धरेदात्मनात्मात्मसाद आत्म आत्मनो बंधु आत्म विपुरात्म ही वॉन्टेड मी टू लिफ्ट यू सो इन रिप्लाय टू दैट दिस इज द थिंग नो बडी कैन हेल्प अस इन दिस वर्ल्ड अदर दैन अवर से we have to work on ourselves there bhagwan says arurukshur mane muner yogam karma karana muchyate yoga rudasya tasseva shama karana muchyate if we really want to uplift ourselves we have to start first working on ourselves and we can work on ourselves only if we are inspired to live something higher in life there was a boy and he was a college student probably and he came up from a talk in amdavad a straight away was climbing the stage I said, "Get down! Let me get down." And then he asked me this question: "What is wrong if I run after girls?" I said, "Nothing wrong. Run. You want a company? I'm free." <laughs> <laughs> Normally, what happens? No, beta. You should not. No, no, no. no. It's not good. you should run after buffaloes not the girls <laughs> so he was so surprised and confused i am not told anything that don't do this this is not good then our culture our tradition <coughs> so <coughs> you are makri so he said no no you are not understanding i said my dear i have understood you are not understanding this is not your problem your problem is when you want to study your mind runs here and there you are unable to focus yourself and therefore your mind is your main problem okay so normally what we do we complain about mind see 99% people only complain about mind swami ji when you are asked for meditation too many thoughts come what should i do don't do meditation relax <laughs> no but our guru told do meditation then do meditation no but what about thoughts that is, that is your problem not my problem see therefore <coughs> there are three words <coughs> one is passion second is dispassion and third is compassion three of them in the material world if we want to succeed in life we must work passionately see nothing should stop us you will see all these great business people those who have come from a lower rut of life they were not you know bhagwan 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 has got better things to do than looking after us see <coughs> 
don't bring the element of god in your life without putting your efforts without putting effort if we start bringing god we become lazy there was one student he filed a case against university university is bias so i will fight my own case very good so he was asked what is the problem <coughs> me and my friend both studied together and he was declared successful because he got some grace marks from university and i was not given grace marks biasness because i don't belong to that category this category so the judge said oh very good do you have some data <coughs> Uh, how much many marks your friend got what is the pass percentage and what is the grace mark the university has given yes i got tell so he said we require um, 50% marks to pass my friend he got 47% so university gave 3% and he was declared pass very good you are well prepared very good now tell about you how many marks you got i got 3% <laughs> see now his argument was university ke jeb se kya jata hai what is the loss for the university if one student is given 3% and he was declared successful so university only has to give 47% what university is losing see just said sastang dandavat i accept my defeat <laughs> see friends so when that boy said like this thing i told him <clears throat> look here when you have a higher goal in life lower things drop automatically see it's very important another example <clears throat> i used to go many years to bits pilani and i used to teach there one day one teacher came he was a physical education teacher a yoga teacher and he attended my classes somewhere i didn't remember then he said swami ji i am so happy you have come uh, <clears throat> i am working here so very good swami ji but i am getting frustrated i said very good what can i do you are, you are a citizen of a free nation you have got every right to be frustrated tathastu <laughs> no actually you know here are so many facilities are available but none of the students come for yoga or for games or for uh, that olympic size um, swimming pool nobody comes i said do you get your salary yes we get you know why worry <laughs> you have come here for salary you have not come here for social work is it not so why worry but why they don't come ha ah, now i can tell you if you want to teach yoga and football and all physical games go to patiala you know patiala is a place in punjab haryana where the people have their brains in the patiala you know the knee cap is called as patella so their brains have migrated over here and therefore they don't bother for anything therefore you see all the uh, athletics prizes etc they go only to those people in between these two three states see and here in bits pilani the students who come they are the cream of the country when they are in class 8 class 9 from then they are planning 
where I have to go there, study hard. And therefore they cannot be interested at a physical level. See, what attention we give in life. If we give attention to the physical, only thing we can think about for saving the planet, run, marathon. All right? If you have to save the planet by running, what will you get out of it? No. Therefore, if we have a higher goal in life, we can never remain attracted towards the lower things. See, the first principle. Simply goal is higher, but you have to work for it. See, one should never be satisfied by the efforts that we put for success in life. Put efforts sincerely. Okay. Another example. Once I was somewhere in a um, place, village. Get in, get in. You are not committed a crime. Sit down. So, I was near one mango tree very nice river bed and I was enjoying that. So when school was over and the ch school children were going from the same road by walk, village background. So some children came, they saw the mangoes, they took the stone, hit, nothing was falling, nothing happened. One or two times they went away, went away. Then one boy came. He tried, he could not do it. Then he didn't give up. Then he wanted to climb the tree and he was trying to climb and he fell down. But then even then he didn't give up. Then he started looking here and there how to climb. Took the whole production of the tree and then ah, I think from here I can climb. Sincere efforts. So when he was putting sincere efforts and I was watching him, I said, hey, come on, I'll help you. I said, I'll lift you. Then you can directly pluck the mango. You don't have to climb the tree. This story is over. Earlier also children went. They also tried to get the mango by throwing the stones. I did not help them. Am I their enemy? And the last child to whom I helped, was he related to me? Was he my friend? No. He was sincere in his efforts. When our efforts are sincere, help comes in life. See? This is what Bhagavan says, Uddhare Dātmanātmanam Nātmanam Avasādayet Ātmaiva Ātmano Bandhu Ātmaiva Ripurātmana So what should be the first thing? We must pursue whatever we have to passionately. See, the other day I read in some news, there is one boy from um, uh, in, in South America, I think yes, he is an artist child. And his IQ is 163. Three points more than Einstein and that other fellow who was time, Steve, who can't. Yes? Ha, that is. Their IQ was less than 160. And this boy, he's hardly five or six. 163. Then he was adopted by the university. And at that age, five, six, he is planning the things on the other planet. He has got so much of knowledge. See? Now such a person who has got some higher goals in life, he will not go and say, Randu Khelenge. Nay, he cannot. Because he is passionately pursuing the goal of life. 
any the goal of life is take do time ke roti milti theek hai then then you can do nothing then become baba ji like me <laughs> those who are <coughs> good for nothing they follow two professions either politician or baba ji <coughs> see so follow passionately the goal of your life never second first competition struggle hard work and never give up that is the passion with which we can succeed in the external world see then second thing comes <coughs> the uh dispassion dispassion towards indulgence and enjoyment in the worldly things see one person <coughs> name i'll not tell you i was sitting with him in england he has <coughs> steel industry all over the world many countries huge steel plants and he has a one wife one son one daughter and he is constantly moving from this place this place round the year and he was telling i don't know why i am running around but i can't stop i have not taken meals with my family for last 3 years and they don't care for me but i am still running what for i don't know see so passionately we must work but at the same time we must have a freedom to withdraw from wherever we get involved with a free will see otherwise imagine when we are coming to his house all the way up 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 i thought he is staying on the tree we have to climb on the tree <coughs> suppose you are going downwards and you have got a unique car when you apply the brake at 2 o'clock it gets upright after 15 minutes what will happen you will go and dash and end up in accident exactly the same way we get involved in this world but we are unable to have the freedom to withdraw from the world see how best combination it will be get involved 100% involvement withdraw in a fraction of second no time see then you have really worked on your mind therefore <clears throat> it is something like this um one uh, friend came with his friend to me he is a savedi he is my friend and uh, i said is he dumb can he talk let him talk don't do any um you know you are not his attorney he asked me uh, swami ji uh, my friend brought me to you i said this is fault what can i do <laughs> no actually um my problem is i can't stop smoking so he spoke to me now friend has nothing to talk he should keep quiet he says swami ji he is like that he can't do anything i stop smoking 10 times <laughs> see do you call it stopping <laughs> therefore this freedom to withdraw from the world is one of the most important characteristic of our successful life 
So, first, passionately get involved. Have the dispassion at your disposal. But this should be practiced on ourselves, not on others. See? Suppose somebody is unable to do this. You are dumb, you can't be saying, look at me. No, 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 no. Have compassion for weaklings in this world. Be attentive. I am going to change this. Don't carry the burden of compassion on your mind. I am not in favor of compassion. See, come means less passion. Less passion. See? When we have compassion, it means we look down upon somebody. See, if somebody is a beggar, he doesn't have anything to eat, so we just, poor fellow, nothing. Let me give him something. See? In New York it happened many years before. <coughs> Somewhere I was walking. There was one man sitting with a glass of water and other hand there was a fishing rod. And in that he has put the uh, bite and sitting there. So one old lady going that way, she looked at him. Compassion. Poor fellow. How can he get the fish from the glass which he is holding? I think he deserves something. Took out one dollar, take. Then he, she asked, since how long you are sitting here? Madam, I am sitting since morning. How many fish you got? You are tenth. <laughs> fish need not be there. See, friends, don't have that compassion business. See? Like here, I was in California. So many useless fellows, drinks, drugs, homeless, and everywhere there are boards. See, help wanted, work is available, apply, but they don't want to work. See, this is one of the worst thing. If you want to destroy somebody, give them everything free. They will be destroyed. See, in South Africa, when they got rid of the apartheid, after that I started going. Before that they will not give us visa. Now I go there. So, all the useless fellows, because their policy is now BE. Like in our country we have got, you know, the Shilka, Shilka, right? Like that. There the policy is BE. BE means Black Empowerment. So the first choice is given to the black ladies. Second to the black uh, gents. Then third to uh, they call colored. Colored means a cross between black and white. They are the third category. Again male, female. So four. Thereafter the um, uh, Indians. And last category is whites. Now these blacks who have never known anything, never studied, know nothing, they became top officers and all that. Then if you want a job, you will have to give 50% of your salary to me <coughs> for one year, for two years. That is a bargain. When unqualified people go at a higher level, that society is destroyed. And this comes because of so compassion. No, so many years they were suppressed, therefore, no, give them free, give them free. See, friends, therefore, it is necessary for us to understand we should help somebody, we should not have compassion. Compassion makes you weakling. See, 
like was as going with some students in train so in india you know train beggars also come so some beggar came into bazaar so there were some students class 8 9 so swami ji should we give as that is your choice okay i'll give four rupees those days You don't want to give? I said no. I don't know why. I said I don't have money. How can I give? You don't have money. I said yes. She took the my purse like this, and saw. There was at least seventy, eighty thousand rupees. So much money you have got, and you say you don't have money? I said, "Tumhara baap ka paisa hai. Your father has given me this money to take care of your rakshasas. It is not my money." on somebody else's money you cannot do charity these governments are doing money charity on the tax payers money and as a result their society becomes useless and once you get a taste of getting anything free initially when feel awkward afterwards we take it as a right See, friends. Therefore, compassion should not make us a weakling. We should have the wisdom that if help possible, do it. Not possible, okay, I can't do it. Over. See, we are not obliged to help everybody in this world. We must find out what is our capacity. To that, you do it. See, so these three parts, with the passion, and dispassion and compassion, and these three factors are to be brought. Now let us find out what is the locus of these three factors. See, like the blue tooth on the table. In this way, is it that the passion compassion is somewhere kept? where are they they are in our mind that is the characteristic of the mind and therefore when bhagwan krishna says arurukshur munir yogam karma karana muchate therefore we must not be lazy in life no day passes without learning something new in life every something new see and to learn something new the simplest technique i'll tell you whole day we are living that day from any event from any experience what you have learned i'll tell you one thing and i promise you you will never do it see my confidence <laughs> make a copy 365 pages and give the title to the copy what i learned today and every day only one thing you have to write and don't write a thesis in one line this is what i learned this is what i learned and then don't do ditu ditu <laughs> no no no, no. <laughs> every day new I can see in your faces. See, every day new. Slowly, you will discover one faculty in you, and that faculty is, you will be able to get a correct message at a correct time in your life. See, you see the world differently. Like if I were with Newton. and we had gone together in that place where the apple fell what i would have done take take me <laughs> we only know one thing nothing else but he saw something different in the same manner when we initiate this process of learning and you make a record of it 
and those people who learn from the experiences of their life they grow wise those who do not learn from the experiences of their life they grow old and otherwise <laughs> old otherwise people have nothing except complaints they keep on complaining and then they keep on living in their dead past see today's children are different than what is to be 50 60 100 years before different but oldies don't understand that because they don't want to learn they don't want to change one tamil family in delhi i went to their house as usual for food or something and then uh, their amma was um, preparing some dosa idli or something and her husband was sitting in the drawing room i went she was a regular satsangi he was hardly coming or not coming and then uh, when i went i found a little bit <coughs> very funny atmosphere then i said hey kiddies where are you all so that amma told swamiji they are in their room i said can i may i go to their room yes yes, yes. i went hey come on here sit down said so now they have no choice they came sat and just to break the ice i said hey these days is a latest jeans have come in the market there is a jari patta here you know <laughs> these are the latest jeans didn't you buy that and you know there are new shoes hoka you know that hoka brand it has become very popular you may not be knowing it is not a marathi brand hoka <laughs> it is a marathi brand so <clears throat> did you get that shoes when i just because i wanted to give chabi and enjoy <clears throat> so this uh, boy started telling swami ji now papa will say what he will say i said let him say now he started when we were children <laughs> we used to go without shoes to the school now you have got so many shoes why what for when we were children we used to get inherited pant from the fourth brother we have hardly bought new pants see these the children want so many things i said now it is your turn now you reply <laughs> it's a fun isn't it shabhi bhar ke chhod do you enjoy so he started the children swami ji <coughs> now what should i say tell what you are free <coughs> then you know what the boy said dad enough is enough now what is coming because today's children are not born they are downloaded <laughs> see he said dad your father was poor he could not afford now my father is rich why are you jealous <laughs> <laughs> see friends do not compare your childhood with today's children's childhood this we have to understand see we go back to our time i guarantee you if we have to study in today's schools and colleges we will fail <laughs> see what difficulty what tortures they are going through see and particularly here in this country inside i outside mom inside sari outside skirt they get confused kis se baat kar raha hu main see therefore friends the more we become aware of these facts then 
योगा रूढ़ से तेव कर्म कारण उच्चते देन वी हैव टू वर्क ऑन दिस फ्रेंड्स वी शुड हैव मोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ अदर्स राधर दैन कंडेमिंग देम एवरी नाउ एंड डे सी अकॉर्डिंग टू डार्विन वी आर ऑल द डिसेंडेंट्स ऑफ मंकीज मंकीज कैन ओनली इमिटेट so our monkeys they can imitate what the parents do see the one of the biggest problem for the whole world is this the younger generation do not have an ideal to look up to see we require some ideal if the uh, parents are not ideal if the parents themselves are not able to understand then like the wild grass the families grow see it is so important my friends we have to learn now what we have to learn be attentive the most important thing what we should learn we never learn can you imagine what it is how to think everything we learn if these girls if they have to learn chapati see first chapati new zealand <laughs> मम्मी मम्मी वाई दिस इज कमिंग लाइक दिस बेटा डू लाइक दिस थिंग देन नेक्स्ट चपाती बिकम ऑस्ट्रेलिया आज इज बेटर वेरी गुड एंड आफ्टर मेनी इयर्स इट बिकम्स अ ग्लोब सो सच ए सिंपल थिंग चपाती रोलिंग वी हैव टू लर्न वी हैव टू पुट प्रैक्टिस कार ड्राइविंग यू हैव टू लर्न ए बी सी डी यू हैव टू लर्न एवरीथिंग वी हैव टू लर्न बट when it comes to thinking neither our parents have taught us how to think nor the teachers tell how to think nor the elders teach us how to think see are we thinking in our life or we are worrying about life see and such worrying people they have nothing but complain i don't know where the world is going if you don't know relax <laughs> see if you know be prepared but complaining has become our second nature therefore one of our maha mantra was living at zero complaint level don't complain i can complain about him and get away from him but if i am complaining about my own mind wherever i go there i am <laughs> where will you run away from yourself see friends therefore we have to learn the art of thinking see and for learning yoga arudasya tasaiva karma karana muchate therefore from every experience from every interaction if we make it to ourselves a firm resolution that we have to learn learn and once you get that knack of learning you get so many things to learn in this world see like you know we give so many examples there was one friend of mine he also is like me bluffing the world <laughs> see ask me how many you give so many examples so many examples which books you follow i am always short of examples while giving lectures which books you follow i said you are number 1 <laughs> see the wisdom of life doesn't come from the books it comes from 
the book of your own life and see what is the net result when we learn from our life's experiences our mind does not carry the burden of that experience as good or bad normally what happens when we interact with the world it leaves a dent and a dash on the mind in the form of likes and dislikes because that is what we have trained ourselves react react but from any particular experience if you have learned then that will not be a failure in your life and that will not create any damage to your mind now the simplest example is our everybody has gone through that example he is in a childhood sometime we are touched the fire so we learned the fire burns and therefore for the fire do we have likes or dislikes no because we have learned so what is the conclusion whenever we learn from any experience we grow wise and not only that we do not damage our mind damage of the mind is only this we keep on depositing likes and dislikes and as the age grows these likes and dislikes they become so strong then we become a very hard personality see and such people are wherever they go they are miserable if a person from mumbai for example from um chinchpokli if he goes to the heaven and indra asks how is everything machhar nahi hai he will only complain he can do nothing see and we can stop complaining if we learn see and once you develop that vision then everywhere you are able to learn i'll tell you one or two examples about this this happened in new zealand we were driving somewhere me and my friend beautiful long drive and uh, we saw one a solitary tree somewhere on the way not a leaf only branches so i told hey stop for what and i took a picture of the tree he said some what is there to see in that tree i said he is my guru don't say anything he said what guru i said are you not getting a message from this tree he said, what is the message i said no listen message any tree has its beauty in its leaves if a tree doesn't have flowers doesn't matter if a tree doesn't have fruits doesn't matter but if a tree doesn't have leaves it matters isn't it bhagavad gita 15 chapter urdhva mula mada shakam ashvattham prahuravyam chandamsi yasya parnani chandamsi scriptures for the tree of life the beauty is when it is carrying huge number of leaves and what are those chandamsi scriptures so the beauty of the tree of our life is only if it is always having leaves He says, "Swami, why do you think so complicated?" I said, "Manufacture the defect. <laughs> When you are bent upon learning, everywhere you get a message. See, then I told now. See further. This tree is now barren. Yes, but it has not ended. Again." new season will come new foliage will come slowly again it will become green 
and after some time again all the leaves will fall away but a tree is the same is it not our story how many days have come dinaya minya sayam prato shishir vasanto punarayato kalakridati gachati ayu tadapi na munchati ashavayu ashavayu is gas trouble <laughs> See? right from childhood if we have to ask ourselves what we have done in our whole life see balastavat krida saktah tarunastavat taruni raktah vruddastavat chinta saktah parame brahmani kopi na raktah oh life is only fulfilling the desires 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 and yet we have not learned that desires can never be fulfilled you fulfill one desire second is standing what about me <laughs> see is raining heavily outside and is useless fellow sitting and then now when you have nothing to achieve in life then you start thinking about eating uh such heavy rains such a nice atmosphere if i get a nice cup of tea how nice it will be so this is a, a whatsapp message to the wife she shouts from there you don't know anything except in tea 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 and poor lady prepares and no Hmm. Hey, what happened? Only tea, no pakodas. <laughs> Second desire. Pakodas come. घर में मिर्ची नहीं है क्या? मिर्ची पकोड़ा. There is no end to it. काला क्रीड़ा थी, गच्छा थी, आयु. Whole life, if we die and go up there. and if the lord ask us hey i sent you as a human being what you have done then i will tell i am a south indian therefore i have consumed three truck loads of rice oh wow <laughs> but i was staying in north india therefore i have consumed seven uh, tankers of milk oh god but what did you produce mm, garbage <laughs> what comes out of our body is not worth talking in public is it not take the leakage from any hole therefore we are a holy body <laughs> see nothing <laughs> worth if something can come out of our body worth is only good thoughts good actions see therefore we have to work on this line so i told him see so many times the leaves have come and gone the tree doesn't cry or it is chilling ab kya hoga mera no again it will come in the same manner how many days have come and gone we are the same jagrat has come and gone dream has come and gone sushupti has come and gone deep sleep has come and gone we are the same you are that tree supporting every season first season was the childhood it has come and gone we are the same then the teenage foliage came it remained for some seasons that gone then middle age foliage came that remained for some time it has gone no old age dry leaves are there they will also drop we are the same this is thinking but what is normally which is not thinking which is worrying how oh, please don't make fun of me i said there is no need you are self sufficient tell me <laughs> 
My problem is, after I die, what will happen to my wife, my children, my property, my business? I am much worried about it. I said, I can tell you. First of all, your wife will be happy. Children will be damn happy. <laughs> really? I said, yes. But how do you say? I said, Marke dekho. <laughs> we have that wrong notion that if I go, see, kate kanta kaste putra samsaro yamati va vijitra. See, this world is going on and on like this. We are most unwanted furniture in this world. But we have that arrogance and foolishness. Because of me, the world is moving. See, there was a bullock cart, huge grass load, and two bullocks, and a bullock, the cart man was driving. And it is summer, South Indian summer. Below that bullock cart, there was a dog also going. After an hour or two, the bullock cart was pulled near the tree, unyoked, gave the um, bullocks water. Then the dog also came out. <laughs> what happened to you? What happened? I have been carrying this bullock cart all over here. <laughs> See, we are like that. And therefore we are worried. See, friends. Therefore, friends, we have to learn the art of thinking. And with proper thinking, you will come to discover one day, problems cannot be solved. Problems have to be dissolved. You cannot solve any problem in this world. You take any governance, these days democracy, then communism, then monarchy, then um, dictation, Hitler type, or any type of governance you take, it will have its inherent problems. Try anything. Why? Because this world doesn't exist. See, I am giving you a final touch, push. See. When we sleep, and it should be a sound sleep. You know sound sleep? Sleep for you, sound for the society. <laughs> Do you know why people in sound sleep, they make a sound? Do you know? They make a sound because they are happy. Try to be happy silently. You cannot. Happiness always expresses as laughter and sound, isn't it? Therefore, in deep sleep, when we snore, we are happy. If you don't trust me, now you are awake. Try to snore. You cannot snore because you are not happy. <laughs> See? Therefore, we have to learn this. And we are here only to express happiness in life. And this world has always been like this. There is nothing new till date. Not a single event has ever been repeated in this world. Our Upanishad says, Yatha Purvam Akalpayat. This world is the same as it was earlier. Then we start finding out. When we are in deep sleep, three questions. Where are we? Are we inside the body or outside the body? Are we inside the room or outside the room? Are we on the bed or below the bed? None. Then, time-wise, are we in 2022 or 1942? See? Then in deep sleep, are we man or woman, young or old, 
ब्यूटीफुल और हाउफुल नन ऑल ऑफ देम आर बॉर्न द मोमेंट वी आर आइडेंटिफाइड विद द बॉडी देन वॉट टू डू ओनली नो दिस एंड देन कर्नाटक प्ले द गेम ऑफ लाइफ कर्नाटक एंड वॉट इज नाटक नाटक इज दैट वेयर इट अपियर्स टू बी रियल बट इट इज नॉट इज एंड इट there was one drama practice going on last practice director was sitting and characters were performing some uh, act and he was watching and the uh, particular event on that in this um, drama was a terrorist comes and pumps bullets in the other person and the other person was reading newspaper and he was a malayali do you know a malayali means what a malayali is the one who is non stop undoing the lungi and doing the lungi <laughs> undoing the lungi and doing the lungi see in bombay they ask this question although it is 100% literacy in kerala why it is not progressing because they are busy <laughs> no time so the character in that drama was a malayali who was shot dead so when the bullets were shot uh, put into him now the malayali has to die so what he did he folded the newspaper kept it and then the lungi and slowly he died <laughs> so the director said there is no life in your death <laughs> see friends at this moment you are all divine divinity is happiness don't justify you are miserable swami vivekananda is to tell one thing your makeup is not complete unless you wear a smile when you go to the bathroom come out don't come out with hey no 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 see and this can happen only by understanding see otherwise all the time as if a handful of caterpillar you are eaten are <laughs> ram 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 in this manner when our thinking process changes we will come to know don't get too much involved in this world and if we are getting involved no for certain it is our need nobody needs us see like i have come over here do you think he needed me no ab mai jaau to jaau kaha so i am up ke because nobody wants me so i run from one place to another place do you know that bina pende ka lota the round bottom flask kahi bhi karo once you take this attitude that it is our need whatever we do you cannot be arrogant you will be submissive and recognize the greatness of others and in spite of that we live in this world don't become too serious see when all these points are put together this is called is spiritual life in our up they have to add e before s the station star is smile is speak okay. therefore take life lightly in the light of wisdom and be happy 
ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ